Much of what we know about work and health is based on research on men or in workplaces where mostly men work. Yet, work affects the health of men and women in different and important ways. My name is Peter Smith and I'm a scientist at the Institute for Work and Health. I'd like to tell you a little bit about research we're undertaking to better understand how sex and gender shape the risk of work injury, return to work after a work injury, and the link between job stress and chronic disease. This is a five-year research program funded by the Institute for Gender and Health at the Canadian Institutes for Health Research, and I'm one of nine research chairs in gender, work and health. One area I'm focusing on in particular is the link between job stress and chronic disease and how it affects men and women differently. Our previous work in this area shows that low job control is associated with a higher risk of hypertension among men, but not women, and a high risk of diabetes among women, but not men. And this is interesting because we usually think of hypertension and diabetes as being caused by the same things, and we assume that these things affect men and women in pretty much the same way, yet in this case, they don't. Now this could be because of social-based differences, such as the types of jobs held by men and women, or because of biological differences, such as hormones. Answering these questions will help us determine if programs to prevent stress-related conditions need to be designed differently for men and women. Not everything about the relationship between work and health will be different for men and women, but I want to make sure that we're designing studies and analysing data in a way that's sensitive to potential gender and sex differences so that when differences are present, we can find them, understand them and address them in our policies and practices. To keep up to date on our findings as they become available and to learn more about how you can get involved, please visit the Institute for Work and Health website.